Paldea Evolved is almost here, and we are going through the entire set and reviewing all of the cards. And today, we are looking at Psychic-type Pokemon. Welcome to Jank Play TCG. My name's Landon, and here we play Jank. And so we are looking at Psychic Pokemon, and we are using the fantastic website, Justin Basil. Uh, they've put together, I think, one of the best combinations of Ability to see the art and translation. I know there's a lot of dead space over here, but, you know, it is what it is. Uh, so first off, let's just jump into the review, right? So first off, we do have Jigglypuff, one of the uh, fan favorites from Gen 1. And of course, the first attack, seeing your opponent's active Pokemon is now asleep. Not a terrible uh, one energy attack. You might be able to use this going second on your first turn and get your opponent asleep and then they gotta flip a coin and if tails they stay asleep and if they're not playing an evolution that them staying asleep could be huge for you and allow you to get up into wiggly tough which might be able to pull off something fun uh the second energy one psychic one colorless slap 20 damage it's kind of a signature thing that jiggle jigglypuff sleeps and slaps um or sings and slaps <laughs> causes you to sleep and then slaps you um but two energy 20 damage i don't think you're if you're using this attack something is wrong uh next up we do have wiggly tough with the ability balloon therapy once during your turn you may attach a therapy energy from your hand to one of your pokemon that's just fantastic. That is some energy acceleration, some special energy acceleration. And there are quite a few decks currently that I think would really want to accelerate some special energy onto the field. So I think Wigglytuff could make sense as a 1-1 line in a deck. Um, or, you know, putting this out there, make it a Zora Box deck and just Zorark into a Wigglytuff so you have that energy acceleration. I think therapy counts... Therapy energy counts. <laughs> I think therapy counts as one colorless energy. Um, maybe it gives you energy. But, um, you know, therapy energy counts as one colorless, I'm pretty sure, but it does help against status conditions, which is pretty nice. And, uh, you know, being able to accelerate that energy might be really useful. Um, Wigglytuff also has an attack for three energy, 100 damage. It's all right. Meh. I wouldn't write home about it. Um, all right, next up, we do have Slowpoke. Uh, Slowpoke, another Gen 1 fan favorite. Single energy, hanging tail, flip a coin. If head, search your deck for a card, put it in your hand. If tails, search your deck for a card and discard it. If you search your deck this way, shuffle your deck. I, okay, I love this. I'm not saying it's good, like, in a uh, meta sense, but I love the design of this card. Of single energy, flip a coin, you can either search for whatever you want, or you can discard something because you know it's not going to matter in this matchup. Oh, or you can, like, discard a lightning energy and, like, recover it with Flappy next turn or something like that. I think Slowpoke has got a lot of utility in it, and I... I love this Slowpoke. Hopefully we have a good evolution for it. The second attack, Zen Headbutt for 2 energy, 30 damage. It's alright. Yeah, that's about it. So here we go. The evolution for Slowpoke. Slow King EX. 1 energy, profound knowledge. 30 damage, your opponent's active Pokemon is now confused. 2 energy, Wisdom Headbutt. 130 damage. You may search your deck for up to 2 cards. Put them in your hand, then shuffle your deck. I actually really like this. Um, it's not too hungry for energy. 130 might be a little low for a terrestrialized EX Pokemon. However, being able to search your deck for any two cards is a pretty big deal. And for only two energy, I think is phenomenal. So Slowking EX has a thumbs up from me. I really like that. I don't know if it's a deck on its own. But it could certainly be a fun addition to some other decks. Really depends on what you're going for. Um, but if you're going for some sort of disruption uh, strategy, Slow King EX might make a fun one. With that Wisdom Head, but you could search out some disruptive cards next turn, throw them at your opponent, and 
that kind of stuff. So I, I, I think Slow King EX could be a lot of fun. And you mix in that Hanging Tail, which will let you grab, you know, or discard a card. I, I think you got something fun there. Very spicy, in my opinion. Uh, next up, we do have Mistrevious. Two energy, ten damage. Your opponent's active Pokemon is now asleep. For two energy, I would hope for a little bit more, but sometimes asleep just works. Um, next up, we do have Miss Magius, which, you know, the uh, Mistrevious evolves into. Uh, with the ability Magical Flick, when you play this card from your hand to evolve one of your Pokemon during your turn, you may choose an energy attached to your opponent's active Pokemon and move it to one of their benched Pokemon. Um, let me reread that real quick. Yeah, it doesn't say that Miss Magius has to be in the active spot when you evolve. So there is a real chance of you being able to, say, evolve for Miss, Ma uh, Miss Magius on one turn and move four energy off of your opponent's active Pokemon to one of their bench. I think the biggest issue here is that it's only off their active Pokemon. It's not moving from one Pokemon to another, so you can't mess up their bench Pokemon too much. But I still like this ability it's a lot of fun and there was a uh toad's cruel uh in the scarlet and violet set that first single energy it was an attack that did something similar to this so if you mix those two you could run into something uh, that's very disruptive moving energy all over the field uh to pokemon that your opponent just doesn't want to have energy uh, if we had Scoop Up Net, I would love Miss Magius even more, but sadly, without Scoop Up Net, I'm not sure if the ability to use Miss Magius consistently is going to be there or not. So that does hold it back, but I like the potential of a Magical Flick there. And then for 2 energy, 60 damage, clearly this is not the Miss Magius to attack with. 60 damage isn't, it, it, it isn't that great right now. So, yeah. Next up, we do have Spirit Tomb. Spirit Tomb's usually a lot of fun. Let's check it out. Ability, Pitch Black Disaster. As long as this Pokemon is in play, basic Pokemon V in play. Both yours and your opponents have no abilities. Okay, um, so Luminion V doesn't have an ability, I believe that means. Um, I'm, I'm blanking on some other. Zashin V, I guess. Uh, there's certain Pokemon that won't have an ability if this Pokemon's in play. It's okay. Uh, a lot of Pokemon V want to evolve right now. And their evolutions usually have the abilities. Uh, really good abilities. So, it, it could be disruptive in some ways. I'm just not seeing it being like all powerful. Especially since EX Pokemon are the new hotness, you know? Um, so, yeah, if it... If it was just rule box Pokemon, oh yeah, this would be amazing. Turning off Radiant Pokemon in addition. Um, if it was just Pokemon V and EX, uh, yeah, I would probably like it still. But it just being basic Pokemon V, that's rough. That's rough. Um, oh, the attack. One colorless energy, 10 damage. If this, uh, put this Pokemon, all cards att attached uh, into your hand. I don't like it. <laughs> uh, yeah, you just you attack with Spirit Tomb, 10 damage, and then you put it back into your hand. So your opponent's basic Pokemon V abilities are turned back on. I don't know. That, that attack seems to be working against the ability, you know? Uh, so next up, we do have Gothia uh, with a single energy flap attack, 10 damage. Okay. Uh, two energy, eerie wave, 20 damage. Your opponent's active Pokemon's now confused. You know how much I like confusion if you saw my status condition video. So confusion is pretty good here. Uh, I think it kind of helps out with the 20 damage plus an effect on your opponent. That, that 20 damage isn't going to be the game breaker. What's going to be happening here is you're going to like have nothing else to do. You've got two energy on this Gothita. Maybe you can, uh, you know take an extra turn just by confusing them and then they either don't attack or they flip tails on their attack or something along those lines uh so now we have gothorita uh the evolution of gothita and single energy mind bend 20 damage your opponent's active pokemon's now confused again i like it two energy super cybolt 40 damage 
eh, that's pretty low in my opinion. Uh, got to tell with the ability star reading, once during your turn you may look at the top two cards of your opponent's deck, choose one of them, put the card you chose on top of the deck and the other card on the bottom of the deck. You get to kind of pick their top deck between two cards. I think this is interesting. I don't know if it's strong enough to be a deck of its own. Um, for the most part, you're going to run into issues where eventually they're going to get a good card. Now, the idea would be that you are messing with their top deck to delay them so that you can accelerate and take the win. But I think currently there's just too much that... Uh, too many outs for players where there's not going to be a lot of bad cards to give your opponent, um, especially just looking at the top two. Maybe if it was looking at the top three or four, uh, you would have a bit more choice there, but only the top two. It's very limited pickings, and it's going to be very difficult to uh, keep your opponent from good cards. You know, if they get a Bidoof down, they just need an Ultra Ball or a uh, Professor's Research or a Barrel or something along those lines. Some sort of draw will draw them into some other things or a Pokemon Search will search them out their Barrel or something and then it doesn't even matter. And this being on a Stage 2, not that I would say that this ability needs to be on a Stage 1 or a Basic. Probably not a Basic. Maybe a Stage 1 would make sense. Uh, you know, with 90 HP or something, something super easy to knock out. But on a stage two, I think it's just too much work for not enough benefit. Um, next up, we do have Dedenne EX, two psychic energy, tail swap, uh, tail swap, uh, move all damage counters from one of your benched Pokemon to your opponent's active Pokemon. That could be a big deal. Uh, we do have Pokemon in the 300s of HP, and being able to Put up this Dedenne, swap all, or move all the damage counters from your bench Pokemon to your, act, to your opponent's active might be enough to KO them and fully heal your benched Pokemon. So this could be a real big swing. Um, also, three Psychic Energy, Wonder Shot, 170 damage, discard an energy from this Pokemon. That's not that bad of a cost. Um, 170 is a good amount, but Dedenne EX has 170, so it's not going to be surviving very long. Discarding an energy isn't bad, because if Dedenne does survive, you just attach another energy and attack. It's not too difficult to get that back up and going. So, I do like Dedenne. I think it's going to like be some clutch play that someone you know brings out in a tournament maybe in a Gardevoir list they're able to stack a bunch of energy on a Gardevoir and they got to Dene in the active and then they just move all the damage counters onto their opponent's active and that's what wins it or it removes the Gardevoir on the bench as a KO possibility on the next turn with the boss's orders or something along those lines you know so I, I really like to Dene's first attack the second attack's fine because once you get to Dene in the active are you gonna leave it there are you gonna retreat where are you gonna do with it you know, so, yeah, I like Dedenne. I think there's a lot of fun to be had there. Next up, we've got Oranguru. Uh, two energy, tactician strategy. Uh, shows 30 damage on the card, but not in the tech. So I'm going to assume it's still 30 damage. <laughs> uh, choose one of your opponent's active Pokemon's attacks during your opponent's next turn. That Pokemon can't use that attack. I love these types of moves. I want to see someone use these types of moves to full effect. Um, some Pokemon only have one attack. So you take away that one attack and they've got nothing to do. So they've got to get out of the active, get another attacker into the active with the required energy, I think Oranguru has a place. I'm just not sure if it's good enough right now. But yeah, I love it. Uh, three energy, Super Cybolt, 80 damage. It's alright. Um, yeah, you're playing it for the first attack, not for the second, for sure. Next up, we have Sandy Gas, uh, the Haunted Sandcastle. Love these Pokemon. Uh, let's see how they sh how they're shaping up in Paldea Evolved. For two energy, twenty damage. Okay, uh, three energy, forty damage. Eh, kind of lame, um, but it does evolve into Pile of Sand. <laughs> two energy, forty damage. Okay. Uh, 3 energy, earth and power, 80 plus damage. If you have a stadium in play, this attack does 80 more damage. That is 160 damage for 3 energy, 140 damage for 
a psychic energy in a double colorless as long as you have a stadium in play now the way this is phrased in the translation is if you have a stadium in play not if there is a stadium in play so it does have to be your stadium but i still like what i'm seeing here 160 damage is a good amount you can two hit ko quite a bit uh keeping the energy going on palisand might be the hardest thing of you do 160 your palisand gets ko'd can you get another palisand going fast enough to keep the pressure going and then you attack with 160 again and so on and so forth so i do like palisand i'm just wondering if it's fast enough next up we do have a mimic you with the ability safeguard Prevent all damage done to this Pokemon by attacks from your opponent's Pokemon EX and V. And then an attack, uh, Ghost Eye, put seven damage counters on your opponent's active Pokemon. Um, so, damage counters. I kind of love that. Um, this one says that it's uh, limited to opponent's active Pokemon. Uh, okay, that, that does kind of hurt. I do... I don't remember seeing that on the card at pre-release, but it could be the that it's limited to your active your opponent's active, which does hurt it a little bit. Um, but the prevent all damage done to this Pokemon by attacks from your opponent's Pokemon EX and Pokemon V, it's another blocking ability, which is always key in this game having some sort of pokemon that doesn't take damage from the big pokemon requiring people that play those big pokemon to have something to counteract mimic you there is canceling cologne currently um is that going to see a rise in play due to mimic you seeing a rise in play who knows but this one blocking ex and pokemon v is big and uh i am interested to see how mimic you is played uh, from here on, you know, Mill Tank saw a lot of play that only blocked Pokemon V, but it saw a lot of play in the Sword and Shield era. Uh, you know, blocking Pokemon V, of course, a big thing. So Mimikyu could be similar here. And then uh, let's see, we've got uh, Cruel Cerulege, Cerulege, maybe. Uh, two energy, Life Sucker, fifty damage, heal thirty from this Pokemon it's okay not great if you're using that you're in you're 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 real rough um healing 30 from 140 hp pokemon doesn't seem too relevant and 50 damage doesn't seem too relevant uh but the three energy fighting sword 100 damage if this if your opponent's active pokemon is a pokemon ex or pokemon v this attack does 200 more damage doing 200 damage to big two prize pokemon maybe even three prize with pokemon v max um i think is phenomenal again similar to palisand i i do think it might be a struggle to keep it going i've got a few ideas though um but yeah i also love the fact that we do have a uh, diverging evolution so you can play char cadet and you might evolve into the fire one you might evolve into this psychic one so you have that option there that adds a lot of flexibility to what you might be playing and i think this could be a lot of fun uh in the future so we'll have to see but yeah i i do like that second attack there 200 damage is a serious amount um let's see now we have the evolution of uh relore i believe is how you say that name uh this pokemon is rub rabska rabska a uh, single energy reviving blessing choose a pokemon from your discard pile and put it on your bench now this says choose a pokemon from your discard pile it does not say basic and that could be huge actually um that Okay, seriously, that could be huge. Lugia V-Star sees a ton of play to get Archeops out onto the field using the Summoning Star ability. This is a single prize Pokemon, sure, it only has 70 HP, probably not sticking around very long. But you can get Gardevoir EX in your discard pile, attack with this thing, and then Gardevoir EX is out on the field. That could be huge. Just hopefully this translation's correct, because if it's not basic that's that's legitimately huge 
Um, also, for two Psychic Energy, Psy Beam, 50 damage, your opponent's active Pokemon is now confused. Um, that's not the reason to play this Pokemon. The, the reason is the Revival Blessing. Oh, whoopsie. Um, yeah, I, I, I love that attack, and I really hope it's translated correctly. I think it is, but yeah, that could be huge. Next up, we've got Tinkatink, one of my personal favorites of the new generation. Uh, so the first Tinkatink card that we have, single energy, draw a card, it's okay. Two energy, uh, 20 damage, it's fine. Um, the second Tinkatink with 10 more HP, single energy, uh, brutal swing, flip a coin, if, ha well, it does 10 damage base. Uh, it's not in the text, but it's on the card. 10 damage plus flip a coin if heads this attack does 20 more damage single energy possible 30 damage is pretty good i really like that there is even a third tink a tink card holy cow um this one goes back down to 60 hp but single energy iron scrap collection put an item card from your discard pile into your hand that's not bad but you're most likely going to be using that attack early game. So having, sorry, having uh, recovery from discard pile so early in the game may not be the best thing, uh, but it's certainly not bad. And then three energy, fairy wind, 30 damage. No thanks. I'll just play the 70 HP one, I think. Uh, this 60 HP one up here with the draw card isn't bad. I do like drawing cards, but I think the 70 HP one just has it beat. And then we've got Tinka Tough, which it looks like we've got two of those. Um, let's see, this first one is the one that I played at pre-release, so I have a little bit of experience with it. Uh, single Energy Light Punch, 30 damage. It's okay. Two Energy Boundless Power, 80 damage. This Pokemon can't attack during your next turn. I really liked that attack. It got me a few KOs. Even though I wasn't able to attack my next turn, it was still very useful in... Um, taking a KO and keeping my opponent from evolving what they wanted to. So I think that one is pretty good. But let's look at the other Tinkatuff that has 10 more HP. So two energy, play rough, 30 plus damage. Flip a coin. If heads, this attack does 30 more damage. Two energy, possible 60 damage. Isn't bad. Uh, three energy, pulverizing press, 60 damage. This attack isn't affected by... Uh, Effects on your opponent's active Pokemon. Um, I prefer this 80 HP Tinkatuff. I really do. That 2 energy 80 damage is just so good. And the best part is, is that this Pokemon can't attack during your next turn. If you evolve up the next turn, that effect doesn't carry over. Evolving up will remove that effect. So that, yeah, then you can just go into Tinkaton here. Our final sidekick uh, Pokemon. Tinkaton with the ability Gather Materials. You must discard a card from your hand in order to use this ability. Once during your turn, you may draw three cards. So discard a card, draw three. We've seen this on a stage two before. It usually doesn't see too much play, but this Tinkaton also has a very good attack. Special Hammer for two energy. 90 plus damage. If this Pokemon has any special energy attached, this attack does 90 more damage. 180 damage for two energy. One of them has to be special. I like it. I really do. I think Tinkaton is a lot of fun. Maybe I'm biased because I played it in pre-release and it got me uh, two out of three wins, which I thought was pretty good. Um, but yeah, I think Tinkaton is a fun little card. Uh, similar to the Palmot from Scarlet and Violet, how it could do like 230 and it was really good in pre-release. I thought that was a really fun card. Tinkaton here is a really fun card hard uh, but let me know what you thought of all these psychic pokemon what was your favorite let me know down in the comments are you going to build a deck with any of these pokemon how are you going to build a deck what are your thoughts about psychic pokemon down in the comments go ahead and like this video subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on all of these paldea evolved set review videos i'm going to be doing tomorrow is fighting type pokemon looking forward to those fighting types like my second favorite type so can't wait to jump into that and uh, join the Discord if you want to have more one-on-one -on -one conversations with me because it's a lot of fun there and there's some awesome people there. <sighs> and of course, until next time, keep playing Jank.